Before I start, I just want to say that I used to watch Psych Substance all the time. Adam's videos teach me well on harm reduction. I believe I safely consume most drugs with his guidance. I really appreciate what he did for me growing up. He recently uploaded a video called, I Relapsed, and it was honestly very sad for me to watch. I don't really watch his videos anymore, but I stay a little updated on his life through Instagram and what my viewers tell me. I knew he was addicted before, but he beat that. I was happy for him that he was able to kick the habit. I didn't know how powerful that stuff actually was until recently. Unfortunately, being sober didn't last for Adam, and now he's back to taking Kratom again. I didn't watch the whole video because honestly it made me depressed, and when he would say, I'm smiling but I shouldn't be because I'm just nervous, or something along those lines, that made me really sad. You can tell it's really affecting his life. He didn't say his partner caused him to get back into the drug habit, but it kind of triggered it, because she said she wasn't happy with him, and that kind of kickstarted it all, and he started taking Kratom to make the pain go away. I just feel really bad for him, and I'm worried for him in the future. I know relapses happen during the trying to sober up process, but it's not ideal. I wish there was something for people struggling with addiction to take to get your mind off of always needing drugs to be happy. Addiction is a very serious disease, and people don't understand how hard it is to quit. You wake up every day, and one of the first things on your mind, if not the first thing, is when are you going to take your first dose? You tell yourself, I'll stop after today, or take a lower dose to make yourself feel better, but it's only making it worse. When you're going through this constant cycle of being depressed and taking drugs to numb the pain for just a short period of time, and then being depressed again after the high is over, it is not good for your mental state. With serious addiction, you just take it to feel normal, not even to feel happy. That's when you know you have a serious problem on your hands. I didn't start taking addiction as seriously as I do now up until when my cousin died. It's actually almost been one full year since she's passed, and I still think about her every day. She was so beautiful and was like 25 to 27 years old. I can't remember on the top of my head how old she was, but she was young, that's my point. Seeing my aunt, her mother, my grandma, and uncle all bust out crying at the funeral made me just very emotional, and it was hard to handle. I shed a few tears, but I held it in while I was there. I later cried my eyes out when my mom sent me a photo of us as kids. Anyways, I want to get my point across that addiction should never be taken lightly. Adam has supplied us with entertaining content for years, and even though he's in really good shape, makes a lot of money, and has over 2 million subscribers, he is still in pain. I could tell it was very hard for him to make that video. It's not easy to tell people that you're going through the same thing you went through before after you said you were clean. I'm glad that a lot of people are there to support him on his channel. For some reason, people like to knock down others in comment sections for no reason, other than to put the pain they have and project it onto everyone else. We're behind our screens and feel like we can say whatever we want, which you can, but there's a human behind that screen. So just take a second before saying something that isn't the right thing to say, because if it was in person, you wouldn't say a thing. I see people comment about other people's addictions and how they're pussies, or whatever rude remarks someone can say. Addiction can happen to anyone at any time, whether that's because of stress, peer pressure, living situation, plain old curiosity, etc. It's not just drugs that you can get addicted to. You can get addicted to food, gambling, social media, anything really, and it always comes with consequences, whether that's with your friends and family or yourself or both, most likely the latter. I just made this video to give attention to addiction and how it can eat your mind up. I'm not monetizing this or anything because I'm genuinely trying to give my thoughts on a very serious issue and I want people to take something away from this. If you're watching this, Adam, or anyone struggling with addiction, the real kind-hearted people are here for you. I know you can get through this, because you've done it before. I do not want to have to go to another funeral in my lifetime like the one for my cousin. I don't want addiction to consume someone's life, and the only way to get out is death. If you know someone out there who is addicted, please talk to them. Show them that you care and you're there for them. I'm so pissed at myself I didn't talk to my cousin more. The Thanksgiving before last year, she sent me a message saying, I love you. And now I look at that and get depressed. I had no clue she was addicted to what she was addicted to. I knew she was taking drugs, but I didn't think it was a serious problem. Now I deeply regret not reaching out. And Adam is definitely taking a lot safer substance than my cousin was. But I'm just talking about addiction in general. Anyone who's addicted to anything, just talk to them, please. You have a chance to help out a little bit. At least if you say something, that could be enough to help. Thank you all for listening, and I hope you all have a good rest of your day, and be kind to one another. It can go a very long way.